Good evening. The world has never been spoken to quite this way. We've never been warned like this before, all of us, about climate change, nor have so many countries agreed quite this much on the clear and present danger it represents. Here is the takeaway. Unless the world changes course quickly and dram dramatically, the fundamental systems that support human civilization are at risk. This is all coming from the U.N., and the evidence is convincing enough, in part because so many nations have agreed with these findings, that it will hit home across this country, especially in those population areas where people may need to be on the move faster than they first thought. It's where we begin tonight with our chief environmental correspondent, Ann Thompson, in Port Monmouth, New Jersey. And good evening. Good evening, Brian. When Superstorm Sandy hit here, the water was above my head. Now, homes in this area are being raised eight feet off the ground, and this is why. The ocean is a quarter mile away, and today's UN report says coastal communities like this one are at risk and, in the worst case scenario, could disappear altogether. Rising sea levels are making storm surges more deadly, wildfires and heat waves are more intense. Glaciers are shrinking. Oh, wow. God. And today in Greenland, where melting has doubled in the last 10 years, more ice is going into the ocean. As nature's thermometer, it just reacts. And when it goes away, we know something has changed. Despite decades of dire warnings, the world's carbon dioxide emissions from power plants, planes, and vehicles went up last year. What kind of risk does that pose to people? People who live in cities, people who live along the coast. In fact, anybody who eats is under threat from climate change. Oppenheimer says yields of two crucial crops, wheat and corn, are decreasing because of the changing climate. That could lead to conflict in a world where the population is growing. The lack of food and water clearly will create political problems. After all, those are the basics of life. In some places where you have instability, it's going to make instability worse in all likelihood. It's not just on land. The oceans are absorbing more carbon dioxide, changing their chemistry. As the oceans become more acidic, coral reefs are dying. The seawater uh, is changing. That it's and Bill becoming, Taylor says uh, his oyster supply is declining on the coast of Washington state. Ultimately, the whole shellfish industry is at risk. Uh, if the shellfish can't form a shell, we're out of business. The report says we can avoid the worst impacts by reducing emissions and moving infrastructure and people out of harm's way. In Des Plaines, Illinois, the government is buying and tearing down homes in a flood zone. But if nothing is done, the report warns snowpacks in the American West will continue to shrink, causing water shortages and worsening droughts. And the record breaking heat of 2012 could become routine. We're likely to see most summers being hotter than the historically hottest summer. So, what used to be the extreme, literally becoming the new normal. And these changes are picking up speed, affecting food and water supplies, human health, and the loss of global species. The scientists say no one and no place will be immune. 